have been reports, reconnaissance reports, that a Japanese convoy was proceeding towards Surabaya and a landing force for Java. So we went out as a battle group to intercept them and uh, try and destroy the convoy, whatever. Anyway, we bumped into the warships uh, first. Uh, I don't know ultimately what they all ended up being, but I know there must have been four or five Japanese cruisers of different sizes there, and about 10 or 12 or more destroyers, Jap destroyers, uh, protecting this convoy. We were, sh were shooting, we did about seven hours shooting in the whole action. On the, at some of those stages, the, the guns would be going continuously for, say, 20 minutes. And in that time, there'd be a bag about every 20 seconds going up the chute. We had quite a few near misses, but we'd only know that by the noise. And um, sometimes it was just as if somebody stood off with a great big chain and lashed the ship with a great big chain. The first one was uh, was a big thud, but the second one was the one that seemed to lift the ship out of the water. The ship was big as the Perth; it just lifted, it just lifted. It looked, seemed to be about a foot, and I was left suspended. The deck dropped down, and then I dropped on top of it. You know, fell down on my feet, and uh, and then a few seconds later. I was drenched with water. It seemed like tons of water fell on my head. And then the abandoned ship water came through the, uh, the amplifier somehow or other, it got through. And uh, we were told to abandon ship. Well, things weren't good. I mean, well, I don't know whether it goes through your mind or, or not. I, all I know is after we had the had the second torpedo and I was about to leave the bridge, I, I did say a little prayer to myself, but that's about it, I think. It was just about then that we, we caught the fourth torpedo. The ship then started to lead, lead, lean to the port side, because I know when I went into the water, it was only about six foot into the water, instead of about 20 odd. I stood on the quarter deck immediately above where the propellers would probably be turning, you know. And I stuck, stood, on to the, stood on the side of the deck and I took off my tin hat that I had on. And I thought I might hit something if I dropped down into the water, you know. This went all through my mind in a few seconds. I just still don't know why I did it. And I just stood there and I thought, what on earth would my parents think of me now, you know, in this situation? <laughs> I don't know what they'd be thinking. After you'd been in the water from midnight until five o'clock in the afternoon, I, I, I think you'd be glad to be picked up by anybody, actually. We weren't getting any closer to the shore at all. Oh, how long can you go on like that? 